Hey guys, it's Benny Johnson here, and welcome to another iOS tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to be covering what we're going to be doing over the next course of videos that I'm going to be releasing for this series, which is creating our first major application. Now, at the start of this series, I did say that we will, I will actually be teaching you through creating fully functional applications, unlike many other videos on YouTube you see, where they just basically cover a topic like how to use UIV and create a simple basic application with a button that pops up a UIV. I mean, how boring is that? Like, once you finish that video, all you got is a shitty application that hangs around on your hard drive. So that's not very useful. What I'm going to be doing is actually teaching you skills, but also putting those skills that you already know to the into action. So let's get started. So basically I've designed our first application we're going to be working on together which is a bank application. So we have been contracted to make an app for a bank whereby the users can get loan information and saving and investment information for that bank company. Now the features it's going to have, it's going to have a loan section where a user enters a loan amount and it's going to output the interest rate if for that loan pay period whereby the user has to pay that um, money by and the total payment they will have um, including that borrowed amount and the interest added to that amount. And we'll also have an investment which is basically a reverse of that but whereby the user is going to enter an amount and a period and it's going to output the interest gained and the total return from that amount. So the secret formula we're going to be using is quite simple, it's called the simple interest formula and if you want to go and have a look and find out more information about it, but basically it is interest equals principal which is the amount times the rate which is um, the percentage over 100 and the time which is in years. So that. So what we'll learn is we're going to learn how to create a simple user interface using storyboards. We're going to use a lot of methods, functions. We're going to use variables. We're going to put our MVC into action, our knowledge there. And we're going to create our own classes or objects. And finally, we're going to polish our application. And this will involve creating app icons, launch images, uh, tab icons, etc, etc. So that's basically what we're going to be learning in this series, so it's going to be fun. See you guys later.